We chose to pick two topics to write our inaugurational speeches. Our two topics were jobs for the disabled and the progression of climate change. Around 38 million people have severe disabilities that keep them from working. Over 50% of disabled Americans report putting off health care because of the costs. Global warming is a natural event but is being majorly contributed to by humans. Today, the quality of the atmosphere is being irreversibly depleted over time. And if nothing is done about it, the earth will ultimately swelter. We were assigned three creative writing pieces with different criteria. We had to put them into an online portfolio so we could learn the importance of portfolios for future reference. Here is an excerpt of my essay. The mind is a mysterious element in our body made of flesh and bones. And at night I close my eyes and remember the events with every excruciating detail. The accident is permanently branded into the crevices of my brain, and it will stay there until I am released from this torment. To prepare for this, we interviewed veterans from multiple generations. We also read a short portion of The Things I Cared by Tim O'Brien. To write the essay, we used these stories as inspiration, as well as the individual research we did on the war that we chose to write about. I chose to write about the Vietnam War since it is consistently forgotten in curriculum. Clouds of rancid smoke weave through this thick jungle, illuminating all but a little light that bleeds through the century-old tangle. The sun casts deep shadows while small slivers of light cast a stained glass-like pattern on the forest floor surrounding me. So I started thinking, what if we could change that as a people, as a group, work together to create something amazing. And for this generation, this amazing object can be artificial intelligence. But we can't do this alone. We have to come together as a world to create something amazing and beautiful that can change the world forever for the better, can change our lives, can change everyone's lives. We all have to come together as a people to make this generation known as the golden age of knowledge and unity. And together, we created something that will be remembered for the rest of time. Earlier this semester, we competed in the Heart of Texas History Fair in Waco with our project. The the project was over Women Air Force Service Pilots, otherwise known as WASPs. The WASPs were a women's Air Force group during World War II and they were recognized as a paramilitary group. We thoroughly enjoyed researching Jean McCreary and these other women. We admire their hard work, their perseverance and determination and we hope you do too. My name is Sylvia Samsung Crab, and I was nominated for Best Use of Written or Spoken Word in a Project. The driving question was, how are authors inspired by true events? In English 1, our first major essay assignment was to be based on veteran stories in order to write our own historical fiction, comprised of a mix of borrowed stories and how we imagined war, to replicate Tim O'Brien's book, The Things They Carried. To prepare for this, we interviewed veterans from multiple generations. We also read a short portion of The Things I Cared by Tim O'Brien. To write the essay, we used these stories as inspiration, as well as the individual research we did on the war that we chose to write about. I chose to write about the Vietnam War since it is consistently forgotten in curriculum. In order to get a well-rounded feel for the time period, I also reached other events of the time, which included listening to the most Beatles I ever have in my life. That doesn't mean it went nowhere, man. I mentioned it. Once. Here's the final paragraph of my essay. Clouds of rancid smoke weave through this thick jungle, 
illuminating all but a little light that bleeds through the century-old tangle. The sun casts deep shadows while small slivers of light cast a stained glass-like pattern on the forest floor surrounding me. It would be tranquil if not for the sharp sounds of fired bullets cutting through the space around me. In my self-contained haze, I am hit. The black soil is soft and pliable as I land on it, nose buried in fertile dirt. The mere power of the blast sends me forward, tearing the canvas sack that holds all my worldly possessions. All around me they lay, letting off fumes of burning flesh. I feel bile rise in my throat as I realize that it is my own. Choking back vomit, I lace my fingers around a singed match. The once red head has gone black, burned out. My drive in the flesh. I go through the items strewn around me. My rusty lighter, a dented aluminum canteen. Worn, soggy socks, the smoking New Testament. An entrenching tool out of place in the vast jungle. My kindness, well-being, compassion, innocence, and security are twisted and warped by the gun of war. And so am I. Blinking rapidly, eyelids fluttering and clicking like a pair of reporting cameras, I examine my surroundings helplessly.